So if you're like me, you like to have your desk nice and clean, but the moment that you add that one cable, it just messes everything up. The laziness kicks in and soon you have 10 more cables strung out all over the place. So if you're struggling with this, today is your wake up call. This cable management guide is going to have everything you need to get your whole life back into shape. So without any further delay, my name is David with Side of Tech. Let's go ahead and check everything out. So what we're going to be covering today is very simple. Timestamps are going to be included down below to help you on every single step and also affiliate links to help you guys what to buy. So let's first talk about what do we need? So first, we're going to go ahead and need a drill. This is going to go ahead and install our cable tray. So this is very important. We will also need a screwdriver. This is going to go ahead and install some of the accessories that we'll be using today. So that's it basically for the tools. But next and even more important are the materials that we'll need today. So for this first one, we're going to go ahead and need a surge protector. And if you guys are like me and have a whole bunch of devices on your desk, you're going to go ahead and need a very big surge protector. So either a very long one or just one that has a whole bunch of plugs that you can kind of orient all your power bricks. I have a longer desk, so that really does make sense for my situation. But if you have a shorter one, I highly recommend something that's more condensed in size, but has a very good and open layout. I'll leave some suggestions down in the description below, but just keep in mind, you guys need a surge protector, not an outlet extender. Next, we'll be needing some Velcro ties to tidy up our cables, and this is pretty self-explanatory. But what I highly recommend is getting the actual Velcro brand. Not only is the brand Velcro a lot better than most Velcro ties that I've used, but I also found that the quality of the stickiness is a lot better than most brands. So I highly recommend getting just this brand. And along with this cable management category, we're going to go ahead and need some double sided cable ties, pretty self explanatory and they're multi use, which I really love. The next thing we need is super important. And then that is a Velcro roll. So if you buy this roll of Velcro, it's going to come with two sides, kind of like the uh, padded side and then a more like spikier side. We're going to go ahead and need both. And luckily the roll that I'm going to link you guys comes with both but the whole point of this is to stick this on the back of your surge protector and this stuff surprisingly has very strong adhesive so we're going to be careful when we install this but yeah i highly recommend getting a velcro roll next are these really handy cable organizers so these obviously are going to help manage your cables even more but where i love to use these are with my usb docks i love putting one of these on the back of it and i can kind of cable manage and compartmentalize 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 kind of classify each cable into one of these. And that's why I highly recommend these. And last but not least, what's going to really save our desk and just really hide those cables in general, we're going to need a cable organizer. My desk is 72 by 30 inches. So this is way too short for all the cables and stuff that I use with my desk. But I'm going to go ahead and link you something very similar just on a longer scale. I will warn you guys, it might be a little bit pricey and it does come in multiple sizes. So I got the longest one and I believe that one goes up to 60 inches. Um, you can obviously go for something cheaper if you guys want to save some money, but I 100% highly recommend this one that I'm going to be showing you guys in the video. So those are all the main things we're going to need for our cable management, but I do have a couple of suggestions just to take it up a notch. These are those finishing touches or that cherry on top. So for one, if you just bought your own desk, I highly, highly recommend placing casters on them because it makes taking out your desk and cable managing and all that 100% more simple. I also highly recommend getting a magnetic cable tray. So this one will house a few cables. It just makes everything so much more cleaner. So I highly recommend this magnetic cable tray. And last but not least, I'm also gonna suggest some super glue or some Gorilla Glue like I have here. So rather than some of your cables just falling over time and that, I trust me, that gets really, really annoying. I highly recommend just putting on some super glue on the stuff that you know is just going to be there. This is not for the faint of heart. This is just for those cables that are just going to stay there permanently. It will also ruin the underside of your desktop. No one's going to really look under there anyways. So some super glue. So now let's get into the steps. And like I said before, this is going to be super simple. Step one, pick your layout. So here we're going to choose a layout of how we're going to do the cable management. This is how I like to do mine. You can choose to do it this way if you'd like, but just be aware that my tabletop is 72 by 30 inches. So just adjust accordingly. Step two is to place the Velcro on the tabletop. Now let's go ahead and place the Velcro adhesive. Be mindful of the placement of the Velcro to allow for max space for power bricks from the surge protector. Last thing you want to do is place down the adhesive and have to move it. Now on to step three, drilling in the cable tray. 
This step is a lot easier if you have your tabletop laid flat on the ground, but if not, utilizing a friend's help here would be best. You can also solo this part, but it'll be a little bit more difficult. Also when marking the holes where to drill, make sure to use a contrasting marker to your tabletop. It'll help you get everything aligned. Thankfully, this is the most difficult part of this whole process. Don't worry, you got this. Now on to step 4, we're gonna go ahead and place our surge protector onto the velcro. So with the other half of the velcro, we're gonna go ahead and place that onto the surge protector. Make sure the adhesive is firmly seated onto it. Go ahead and peel off the clear plastic and firmly press the surge protector onto the other side of the velcro adhesive. Now that we're halfway, step 5 is we're gonna plug everything in. Don't turn on the power yet, let's go ahead and keep the surge protector off for the moment. Make sure to plug in the bigger power bricks and plugs in first so you can really see what can get plugged into where. Moving on to step 6, go ahead and check your cable layout before the cable ties. Now we're gonna do a little check to see if we like how we plugged everything in on our layout. Be mindful of the cable placement if you have a monitor arm. Remember, no cables. Whew, okay, we're almost there. Step seven, we're gonna go ahead and manage our cables. So next what we're gonna do is either the most time consuming or the easiest part of this process. So thanks to our cable tray, we either get to decide to tuck in the cables or kind of cable manage it and use those Velcro ties to clean everything up. But if you're lazy like me, then we can go ahead and just tuck all the cables behind. I lied and went ahead and used some of the Velcro ties. This process could be as long or as short as you want it to be, but just keep in mind that if you can't see them past the cable tray, then I think you're good to go. All right, on step eight, let there be light. Now let's go ahead and power everything up and test our connections. If you notice that something isn't powering up, here's your chance to troubleshoot everything. And after all that, step nine is just to tidy everything up. Just make sure you do a good job here and wipe everything down. This is what makes the reveal all the more worth it. You know, before starting this channel on YouTube, I don't remember there being any kind of guide like this way back then. So literally figuring everything out throughout all the years, it was fun, but also very, very frustrating. But now it's awesome because we have so many cable management guides, now including this one. So guys, let this be your gateway to the whole world of desk setups. But yeah, what did you think about my long-awaited cable management guide? This one was a long time coming because I really do want to help you guys out in your whole desk setup journey. And I know that there was a lot of people who requested this, so I'm very happy that I finally got it out to you guys. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below if this guide helped you, or if you want to add your own tips and tricks down in the comments, I very much welcome that. Also, if you want to join an up and coming tech community here on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe down below. Also, if you guys want some more extra stuff, go ahead and check me out on my Instagram, at side of tech, and I'd love to have you if you want to go ahead and follow me over there. But yeah, guys, with all that being said, this was David serving you a little side of tech, and I'll see you in the next video. God bless you guys.